Hello everybody, Debbie here from Easy Piano Styles. And today's lesson I'm very excited about actually because uh, I think it really offers you a nice, beautiful alternative to what's called a turn that you may have heard of in music. I have done e-notes on these turns, but um, I think they're sometimes called turn around, I believe, but we'll just use the word turn. Turn is when you're using, uh, it's, a, it's usually a sequence of four chords where you're going from uh, a one chord at the end of the song, like say uh, one chord at the end of a section, I mean. So if you're ending a section of a song with a one chord, say you're in the key of C and you're going to a C chord, um, <clears throat> you could do what's called a one, six, two, five which would be a C, six would be A minor, two is D minor seven, and five seven is the G seven. That doesn't have to be written into the song, you could just do it and, and put the turn and that takes you from the end of the section into the beginning of the section or it could take you into the bridge as long as it's taking you to the one chord. So what I am offering you today is uh, a way of varying that. And I think I'll turn the camera around here so you can see exactly what I'm doing. All right. So a few weeks ago, I did a lesson on substitutions, and we're going to use that now. So say we have a turn. Uh, let's see. One. We'll do the one. One. Six. minor, D minor, it's the two, and the five, seven. Okay, so a common substitution for the one chord is the three chord. So the three chord in the key of C would be E minor. So I'm doing an E minor seven instead of the one. So that's the difference right there. All right, then we have the six chord, right? What we're going to do, and the sixth chord is an A minor seven, but if you recall from an old episode of E notes, just a few weeks ago actually, we did the tritone substitution. So tritone substitution is you're substituting uh, a chord that's a tritone away, which is a diminished fifth or one, two, three, four, five, um, six half steps away. So, and you could use those interchangeably because they share the same thirds and sevenths. Take a look at that lesson um, if you need a, just a, a redo on what the tritone substitutions are and what that means. Okay, so we have the one chord. We're substituting the one chord, C in this case, for E minor. They share a lot of the same notes. That's why it can use, uh, you, you can interchange them. Now we have the sixth chord, which is A minor. Our tritone substitution for an A minor is E flat. Now we're gonna do our two chord again, D minor. And then our five seven chord is G seven, but the tritone substitution for that is D flat seven. So we have, and we can go down to C. put this in. <clears throat> in the key of C, uh, one, one and only. of uh, alterations on those. I changed, 
I plotted the five there, but the basic chords is the same. I substituted this, the E minor seven for the C. I did the tritone substitution of the A minor with an E flat. I did the straight two chord, the D minor seven, put a nine on there. And I substituted the G seven for a D flat seven and put a flat five on that. So, sounds really pretty, don't you think, when you do those substitutions. And uh, again, it doesn't have to be written into the song. You don't have to have the one, six, two, five at the end of a section. Um, you can just put that in there if there's, especially if there's two measures at the end of a song ending on the one chord. Put it in. Really, really pretty. All right. Well, we'll talk to you soon. And I uh, hope you're doing well. And uh, see you later. Bye-bye.